So it is Christmas Eve, and it is time for the final Villa View Advent Series episode, where me and Dan have been going through every single day with a different piece of, piece of content. We've brought you favourite memories, FIFA, and even Brussels sprout challenges. Dan, how have you found it? God, I'm not going to lie, I've not really enjoyed it because I've had to look at myself with a moustache every day in December, having had one in November every day as well. So it's felt like I've had two months of November because obviously when we recorded all the Advent stuff, it was November. So from that side of things, I've not really enjoyed it. I enjoyed beating you on, on FIFA. That, that was enjoyable. It probably probably should have been more than 1-0. I mean, I've let myself down towards the end of the Advent series with the Sprouts and the wrapping, but they're, they're two things that I knew I wasn't going to be good at. But it's been a, been a decent crack. It's been good for us to get videos out every day and, and try something different. So, yeah, it's, it's been OK, but the, the memories will be tarnished for me, really. <laughs> no, I'm not quite happy because it's the first time I actually won a few challenges. And just in general for the Villa B, we've noticed the subscribers have gone up and rocketed almost this month. It's been the most productive know, month God knows why. so far as well. <laughs> I'd love to know why. Brussels Sprout video in particular, a few subscribers went up. I don't know why, but anyway, we'd like to thank all of you that's been watching this series and stayed with it because at times it has been long for us even, and of course for Dan Rollinson behind all the cameras and everything. It's been a long month for him as well. We've yeah. got some outtakes and we feel like you should see them because we don't do everything first time. I'll admit that one, but we certainly don't do the first time. There's some quite embarrassing howlers in here. I can't even remember half of them. So let's see some of the best outtakes from this series. To do that, well, we need to get in some Christmas gear to start off with because at the moment we're not very Christmassy. No, I'm not feeling too Christmassy. No, I'm not. <laughs> but to do that, we do need to be a little bit more Christmassy, really, don't we? I think so, Matt. Yeah, I think we do. <laughs> <laughs> Day four, dear four. Yeah, you can do it if you want. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the Villa View. Today is the 7th of December and this is the first one of, no, shut up. So I remember this was when Paul Lambert had been away to Germany, I think to a uh, shadow Pep Guardiola and he, and he came back and introduced his own version of Tikka Taka. I'm gonna have to stop, it was Jürgen. Was it Jürgen Klopp? It was, it was a dorm. Did he go to Klopp? Was he a dorm? Oh, yeah, because he was yeah. I thought he went to see Pep as well. So what I do remember about, the, about this time is that this was when Paul Lambert had been away on a little retreat to Germany to go to go back to his old club Dortmund and, and shadow Jurgen Klopp. We went on all kinds of bad runs and broke all kinds of yeah. bad records. Done. Yeah. It is Pep. Oh, for fuck. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. To no. Ozzy Osbourne. Does he play for Villa? Isaiah Osbourne. It's totally changed his first name. <laughs> why, is Ozzy, why, is Ozzy, why would Ozzy Osbourne be Christmas Day? I'm like, I don't understand. He's in a Christmas song somewhere. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I think I'd be better doing this on my own. We're nearly there. We're not, we're not a million miles away. Happy baby. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thomas Tinselberg. No, you're not buying it. Not going either. I said it was a massive game, which isn't strictly true because I'm sure Aston Villa versus Wigan isn't the most... most... As I alluded to before, the team selection last time out did not really work. The Rudy Gestead experiment up front, that, that, no. Like we did before, we need to go on a seven or eight game unbeaten streak, preferably with the games won consecutively. Oh, what am I even talking about? I've just recorded probably five minutes of utter garbage for you there. I don't know what you're going to do with it, but good luck. I'll do an outro, which obviously is also my strength. It was my granddad's birthday on the day, so we went to the mill for a pub. Went. Hello and welcome back to the Villa View for another Advent series. Today it is me versus Dan in a 10 versus 10 question quiz. <laughs> right. Oh, right. Right then. Hello and welcome. <laughs> As me and Dan go head to head in a 10 question game. It's a quiz. <laughs> it's a quiz. As me and Dan go head to head in a quiz that is quiz Christmas. <laughs> this is a joke. So that's it today from the Villa View for another one of our Advent series. Make sure you tune in tomorrow because obviously we're doing this every day and we have been doing it. Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> 
Sometimes I just say things and I don't know what I'm what I'm doing. Jeez, I hate outros and intros. The villa view, the villa view, the villa view, the villa view, oh, the villa view, the villa view, oh, the villa view, the villa view, the villa view. When Villa Park is underneath the foot of the there, there. So that is one of my favourite. You'll be sad to learn that this is the final on this day of the series, but stay tuned.